we are on. All right, good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you're joining us from. Uh, my name is Betsy Ann Huggins. I'm the Engagement and Training Specialist at American Printing House for the Blind in Louisville, Kentucky, where it's about 22 degrees outside. Thank you for joining us today for Matt Connect, Advantages of Accessories for In-Person and Remote Learning. We have some fabulous guests with us today from our partners at HumanWare, uh, and we'll be introducing them in just a minute. But first, please take a look at the poll that Jim has just dropped. Um, we've got several questions, which I'll have Jim read off, and then we're going to turn it over to Eric for some fun Canadian trivia. All right, are you ready for those additional questions, Betsy Ann? I am ready for them. All right, everybody. So the usual questions when you come in, uh, where are you from? How did you hear about this webinar? And uh, what's your job title are in there? And uh, if you don't see a category that applies, feel free to throw other into the chat for us. But in addition to that, we would like to know uh, how you would describe your knowledge of the Matt Connect. So are you a beginner Matt Connect user? Are you intermediate, advanced? Or for those of you who are Star Wars fans out there, are you a Jedi? Uh, in addition to that, we'd like to know, have you utilized any of the training videos that are accessed from the main menu of the Matt Connect? So that's a yes or no. And then we'd like for you to check any of the accessories that your students are currently using with the Mac Connect. So are they using a Bluetooth keyboard? Are they using a stylus? Are they using a battery pack? Or are they using an external monitor? And you're free to check any of those that they're doing that. And again, if you have a hard time accessing the, uh, the questions, uh, feel free to drop that information into the chat and we'll make note of that. And so with that, we'll keep the poll open for uh, the next few minutes. And as Betsy had said, we're gonna now twist this. I, I think some of you are familiar with the fact that we've been trying to start a little early so we can start on time. And Eric's got a few questions for us about Canada and best places uh, to vacation in Canada. So take it away, Eric. All right, thank you very much, Jim. And thank you for having us. Uh, it's uh, again, this year is uh, it's awesome, these webinars. And I love the idea of starting with a Awesome, fun question. And in today's question, where is the best Canadian cities to vacation in? So the first city, this place is known for its beautiful turquoise glacier fed lake. So I'm guessing people can chat in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the chat so that they can write their answers and see where people think this lake is in Canada. Ooh. Canada is an awesome big country. Where I think we need a. I think we need a lifeline, Betsy Ann. And fortunately for us, we have a lifeline down in Florida at the moment. As I have, I want to say, is this place north of Montreal by any chance? Like, it's 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 north of Montreal, but more in the west of Montreal. Oh, so it's in Quebec. But, no, it's not in Quebec. It's another it's province. So it's it's up north, but in the west. In the West. West right. Canadian. So, so like out near like Calgary, out near. Um, out near Calgary. Or, or Edmonton. I, I have absolutely no idea. Sam, do you want to help Betsy Ann and I? I would say this would be British Columbia. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of folks in the chat who know the answer. <laughs> we the same Banff. answer keeps coming up. It's Banff. Banff. So nice. Lake Louise is in Banff National Park in Canadian Rockies. Yes. It looks beautiful. I want to go there right now. There's beautiful. all kinds of activities. There's all kinds of activities in the summer. You can go and do some canoe and uh, I wouldn't recommend going swimming because uh, because it's uh, it's glacier fed. The water is really really cold and really clear. It's a really awesome place. And there's a lot of hiking. You can hike through the mountains and have a bird eye's view of uh, of this uh, of this awesome place. And also in the winter, it turns into a nice ice rink. And you have you have specific tournaments every winter of hockey. So they have several uh, hockey tournaments on the lake uh, during winter. So it's a cool place. Never went. My dad went though, and he, he played in one of those tournaments. <laughs> I've been there. It's beautiful. And it's beautiful no matter what time of the year. And nearby, there's uh, lots of nature. Kodiak bears, the biggest bears you'll find on the on the planet. Um, and Kamloops, which is maybe just three hour driving time where fruits grow in a valley. It's, it's a beautiful area. 
It is. All right, how about another? How about another question? And and keep responding in the poll. We've got we've got seventy three percent of those of you out there that are responding to our poll. This rocks. We we shoot for fifty percent. We got seventy one percent. All right, all right. The Canadian capital. That's Ottawa, isn't it? It is Ottawa. Good job. Oh, that, yes. that, that was easy. That was an easy <laughs> one. Give us but another this, easy one. This is my birthplace. I'm oh. from Ottawa. So I had to put it there. Awesome city again. You got the Parliament Hill, which is beautiful, beautiful parks. But what can I say about all the museum that we have there? There's all kinds of museums. I, I've, I've listed a couple there. You have the War Museum, the History Museum, uh, the Nature Museum. And there's also one for Canadian Children Museum. Uh, and, 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 and also on this picture, the top part, the picture on the top there is the uh, Royal Canadian Mint, which is, is pretty cool to uh, go and tour and see how they make the money, Canadian money there. I'm surprised you didn't put a picture of the Rideau Canal where you can skate for seven kilometers, five miles. Very true. Yeah, Beautiful. Rideau Canal. All right, one more question and then we'll get started. We'll get the code here in a moment, everybody. All right, Eric. So we're going to finish with the most awesome city where I'm based in right now. Montreal. The home of the most decorated hockey team and the second most decorated professional sport hockey team after the Yankees. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was the most decorated team ever, but it's not. The Yankees won 25 championships. Oh, the Montreal yeah. Canadiens won 24 wow. championships. <laughs> So yes, beautiful Montreal. And here on these pictures, you got the old Montreal where you have kind of like the feeling of France, the old France. You still have uh, horses that go through the, the roads there and you can, you can have rides uh, through the, the nice streets of Vieux, uh, Vieux Montreal, old Montreal. And then at the, the bottom, the célèbre Fairmont, uh, La Reine Elisabeth, which is a hotel. And the most awesome story there is that uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono rented a couple of rooms about 50 years ago and they uh they, they took those rooms and they protested for peace at that time so awesome story awesome city also to spend a lot of time there and you'll learn some french you do <laughs> well excellent we've learned so much about our friends up in canada got some new places to add to my bucket list uh, of where I need to travel. So excellent. Jim, do you mind sharing our opening poll results uh, as we get started? I would, I would love to do that, Betsy Ann, thank you. So, uh, so where is everybody reporting in from? Uh, looks like we've got uh, about 24 and 31% of folks reporting in from the Northeast and the Southeast. As we come down here, how did you hear about this? Of course, email is usually the response. Uh, what's your job title? The vast majority of you are teachers of the visually impaired. So uh, how would you describe your knowledge of the Mac Connect? 68% uh, of you are beginners, 25% of you are intermediate, and 7% uh, of you are advanced. Eric, we've got no Jedi users of the Mac Connect out there. Uh, we have two you here on the board. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Actually, you guys are like beyond Jedi. All right. So have you utilized the training videos that are accessed from the main menu of the Mac Connect? Eric, 69% of folks are saying no, they have not. So maybe something to check into there. And then last but not least, check any of the accessories that you're currently using with your kiddos. 47% uh, of you are using the Bluetooth keyboard, 19% the stylus, 14% the battery cap and 20% of you are using the external monitor. So uh, that's where we are there. Okay, so we will bleep this in a bit, but our opening code for everybody is up. And I will drop some of that information in the chat and I'm gonna kick it back to Betsy Ann. Great, thank you. Can everybody see my screen? Opening poll questions? We cannot. Nope. I'm gonna try again. All right, how about now? Strike two. <laughs> All right, now you're getting warmer. Boom, <laughs> there you go, you got it. We got it, okay, excellent. So before we officially begin today, uh, let's just go over our ground rules. Um, please type your questions in the chat. Um, we're gonna leave the chat open today and know that we're gonna be keeping a running tally of uh, 
your questions and we'll get to those uh, when we have some pauses and hopefully at the end. We have one hour's ACV REP credit available. Uh, Jim just gave you the code um, and closed captioning is available. Uh, so excellent. Uh, we're really excited today to uh, have with us Eric Beauchamp from Humanware, our partners up in Montreal, Canada. He's the Director of Product Management, and he's going to be here today to talk to us all about the Matt Connect. We'll introduce him in just a second. But first, do these challenges seem familiar to you? Do your students have trouble accessing on-screen keyboards? Are completing worksheets a challenge? And does the battery life of the distance camera need to be boosted for an extra hour or two? Uh, if these challenges sound familiar, then today you're going to learn a lot about the accessories for the Mac Connect that can help solve some of these common classroom challenges. Our learning objectives for today, participants will list the steps to set up at least one accessory of the Mac Connect. They will also identify at least one benefit for each of the following accessories, the Bluetooth keyboard, the stylus, the battery pack, and external monitor. And participants will explain how to use at least two accessories of the Mac Connect. All are available from APH. Uh, these are some other partner products we have with Humanware. So be sure to check out the Mantis Q40. That's a 40 cell, cell refreshable braille display with a QWERTY keyboard. We also have our Chameleon 20, a 20 cell refreshable braille display with a Perkins style keyboard. And finally, the Mac Connect that you're going to be hearing all about today. But stick around to the end where we have a special surprise for you. We're gonna be demonstrating the Reveal 16i, another fantastic product from Humanware, live at the end of this webinar. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Eric. Welcome, Eric. Thank you very much, Betsy. Happy to be here again, and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just say Happy New Year to everybody because I think this this is the first webinar we're having in 2021. Anyways, from my part, so Happy New Year. Happy to ha be here. <laughs> happy New Year, right back at you. <laughs> okay, so let's let's dive in. Is that that's where we're at right now? Yes, perfect. So if you can yes, stop sharing it. your screen, please, uh, Betsy. Okay, here, I can do it for you. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to switch my camera here, but uh, and we're going to see a couple of nice accessories. Uh, a couple of uh, weeks back, we've added uh, some, uh, some nice accessories in the boxes of the Mad Connect, uh, which include, I'm going to show them to you, which includes a blue, uh, the Bluetooth uh, keyboard, includes a carrying tablet case so to put the, uh, the 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 tablet in the uh, in the casing to, to have it to, so that we, we can go around but I'll, I'll go through them all a portable battery um, external battery uh, because a lot of uh, a lot of times uh, students are using the distance camera and we, we ran out of uh, battery time. So I'll show you how to use this, how to connect it to the distance camera. And also you have a stylus that I'm gonna show you how to use and the benefits of using all these accessories. So I'm just gonna change here my camera view to, um, to my Mat Connect. Perfect, so the one thing I'm gonna start with, okay, is uh, how to connect a big screen, a, big, a bigger screen to the Mat Connect. I saw that a lot of people are using an external screen to the Mat Connect, and I'd like to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple, actually. I've used the Mat Connect to do my presentations uh, at CSUN, at ATIA, and I've connected to projectors, I've connected to big screen TVs, and it's pretty simple. You can um, find a USB, uh, no, sorry, an HDMI cable, uh, one, side will be a normal size HDMI, but the other side will be a mini HDMI. So I'm showing you right now on my screen, it's a mini HDMI uh, cable at one end and the other end is a normal size HDMI. And on the side of the uh, Mat Connect, there's a couple of ports that you can see. 
And right now my mat connect is, is right now con connected to my stand or dock to my stand. If I go from top to bottom, I'm gonna list the ports for you so that you can identify which one it is. But on the top, there's like a, a SD card or a micro SD card uh, port that you can put some extra memory. Be, be, um, right below that, you have a USB-C connector to transfer some files to a PC. And then right underneath that USB-C, there's the power port there's so that you can use to connect to charge the, uh, the MAT connect. And then right underneath the power port, you have the micro HDMI port. That's where you're gonna plug in that cable. And right underneath there to be complete of the ports, right underneath the HDMI port, you'll have a uh, headphone jack. So use headphones. So what I'm gonna do, I have a screen already with me. I'm gonna use my HDMI and I'm just gonna plug it. You can only plug it in one way though. So you have to be careful uh, when you plug it in. <clears throat> and then if I just turn my camera, you can see here, I'm using a nice 24 inch screen with my Mac Connect. So this is how really simple, how you can use a, a, an HDMI cable connected to a bigger screen TV for somebody that needs a bigger size screen. Uh, and everything is controlled on the mat connect so if i if i try if i put my finger on here you see the movement on my screen well it's that's going to generate a movement on my bigger screen so here the advantage is having a bigger screen tv and uh, and having more real estate on the screen so uh, some students will will uh, will appreciate that more than the than the 12 inch uh, screen that we have on the tablet so let me just use that big screen uh, on here. Let me know if you want to see my finger on the screen on the Mat Connect so to see where I'm tapping, if ever. Just type it in the chat. If you prefer that, I'll, I'll switch and I'll show you my finger on the screen of the Mat Connect. Um, but basically, I like that 24 inch because you, got, you have that bigger screen and you got the, those big icons. It fits better on my, on my screen right here for, to show it to you. The second accessory that I like to show you is most of the people use the I'm able to see okay so the a lot of people I saw in the poll was were using a Bluetooth keyboard. You can use any kind of Bluetooth keyboard out there, but we sell here or we we've given you a uh, adapted. Uh, keyboard with all those big fonts and big letters on there. And it's pretty small. It's about the same size as the tablet in, in length. But basically, I'm going to show you here how to connect this keyboard to my uh, Mat Connect. And I'm going to show you how to use it afterwards. I love this accessory because it acts also as a remote because you can do so much things with the keyboard and you don't even have to or you reduce the amount of uh, touch screen touch that you're going to that you're going to do on the mat connect but basically what you want to do on this version here you put in the batteries the batteries you two two small uh 3a batteries that you put in the keyboard once that's done you have a switch an on on switch so you can place it to the position on and then right beside it you can, you know, there's a little button connect. And I'm gonna show you here in Prodigy, you'll scroll to the right, going into my settings. Again, this is all accessible through Prodigy. You don't have to go into Android to set this up. And then inside my settings, you'll go down to system. The, that's the third option from the list. In system, you have different system options here you can set up a wi-fi you can set up this is the setup wi-fi this is how you can connect the camera to it or if you want to connect to the internet this is how you would do it and but you have the second option is the bluetooth setup so i'm going to select bluetooth setup if your bluetooth is not on i'm going to i'm going I'm to try it out for you i'm just going to turn it off if your bluetooth is not on this is what you're going to see on the screen you'll see bluetooth off to turn on the bluetooth you just tap on Bluetooth off and it's going to 
start the Bluetooth for you on your device. So as soon as you that Bluetooth is started on your device, you'll see more options. You'll see Bluetooth on, and then you'll see paired devices. These are all the devices that you already paired to the, to the device. But also you have devices at the bottom, which is the third option down. Tap on devices, and it's gonna start scanning. Uh, for your devices. Here I got the nice code jumper, which I tried out uh, on Prodigy. Uh, so it is coming out in Android very soon, code jumper. So if you, that's an APH uh, cool product, you can take a look at APH website for more details. But what you want to do here is that you want to click on that button, the connect button right beside the switch. And on the screen, you'll tap scan for devices. And you, as you can see, there's another device that just showed up with a bunch of numbers on there until well, it also found my micro sound link, my, my boss speaker that I have home here. But as soon as uh, it detects and it connects or, or it detects that it's a Bluetooth keyboard, it's going to show up in the menus here. So Bluetooth logic keyboard, that's what you want. In my list here, it's the second option or second device in my list. So I'm going to tap on that. And then the second screen is then going to be connect. So I will be tapping on that, connect, and then there's a pop-up that shows up so that you have to enter the numbers on the screen. And you just type in the numbers. So 0, uh, 6, 0, 5, 7, 6, 8. And then press enter. If I got that right, it's going to connect. If I don't, it's going to say, well, connection fell. But I got this right, and I can use my enter here to go out onto my menu. So here in my keyboard, I'm going to show you a couple of cool features that I have here. You have a back button right beside the space bar. If I hit that back button, it's going to go back into my, uh, in my me different menus. I have also a home button. The home button will bring you to this main carousel. So for example, if I click here on my magnifier, and I want to go back to my main menu, I just click home, which is on the other side of my space bar on my keyboard. Again, if you don't have this same, this same keyboard, uh, you can use it, but you won't have most probably these functions that I'm showing you because they're all different. But if you're using this keyboard, that which comes with the Mac Connect now, uh, you'll be able to do the same thing as I'm showing here on the screen. Now on the top, part of the keyboard, there's a lot of uh, keys there, F1 to F12. And these are, have all different functions associated to it. So F1 and F2, you'll, have, you'll be able to increment or decrement the brightness of the screen. F3 will show you all your history applications. So what you started as applications in the history. So if I tap on F3, you'll see here I have different applications that have been started that I can choose any, let's say if I, for example, I'm gonna choose here my YouTube. So if I select that and press enter, I'm gonna to go to my YouTube uh, application, okay? And my kid, my son was watching a couple of uh, cool videos there. So as you can see, but if I wanna go back home, you can just click the escape button and I'm gonna put here always here. So I'm always gonna be returning to Prodigy. So. You notice that when I go out to Android, my home button is my escape. So it's the button on the top uh, left corner. Uh, yeah, left corner. So the escape button to come back. So I'm gonna go move on to F4 now. F4 is to list or to start any kind of application that, uh, that is installed on my Mat Connect. They're all classified in alphabetical order. So if you use the, uh, the arrow buttons here to go down the list, these are all my, my applications. Again, they're all uh, classified in alphabetical order. Um, for example, if I go into D, I have different applications here that all start with D. Okay, and then I can just click on one and it's gonna start my application. To go back, I use my back button at the bottom of my uh, keyboard. F5 is to go to settings. So this is my settings menu that I showed you at the beginning there on where I set up my keyboard. And again, I can go down the list uh, with my arrow keys or to, and then press enter to select any option and then go back, use my back button or my home button. F, F6 is, my, is to start my magnifier. So let's do a nice story here. So I'm gonna start my magnifier 
F6, I will put my usual red writing hood story here uh, underneath my camera. So to order, in order to put it and have a full page of capture, I just need to uh, put my tablet in parallel with the base. If I can just show you my tablet here, there we go. And then I just zoom out and I'm gonna use the keyboard to zoom out. My keyboard here, this is what I'm gonna show you, but there's a plus sign, which is a second row uh, on the right, the second button, there's a plus sign. So if I, if I, if I press plus, that's gonna zoom in. But if I press the other one right beside it, which is a minus, it's going to zoom out to a full page. So that's what I want to do here. And the result will be a full page of document. And then to take a capture, you don't even have to touch the screen. You just press the F8 button. So the F8 button is the play button on my, on my keyboard. So if I do that, it's going to take a capture right away. The OCR will be done. The optical character recognition is going to be done on it. And then you can start reading as soon as the, the uh, character recognition has yeah. done by pressing again the F8 button, which is going to start reading for you. Press the F8 button again, and it's going to pause it for you. You can, again, use the plus and the minus sign to zoom in or zoom out. You can increase the, the um, speed of the reading by pressing F7 and F9, increase or decrease, and also F10 and F11 are to increase or decrease the volume uh, and to mute the volume. So these are all the F functions on the top. I'm gonna to show you some other cool functions here. If you wanna save your document into your gallery, you can use Control S, exactly like on, in the Word document, you use Control S and it's gonna save it for you in your gallery automatically. To go out into Android and to get some more applications in the Android desktop, Control Q, which will bring out into the uh, Android part of things. And you can go into your Play Store, download uh, other applications and use other applications that you wish. And it's used for writing also. <laughs> so let me go back to my uh, Prodigy. And for example, go into my Notes application, press Enter here. And I will add a new note here. So I'm going to press the plus button, which is on the top right corner of my screen. And I'll have a menu and I'm going to, I will create a new note, which is this first option in the menu, create a new note. And this will bring up a blank page for me. And at the bottom, you see there's a uh, button banner. And the third button from the uh, left is the uh, edit button. So you tap on that and you got the menu will change, the buttons will change. And the second button will be, the, the button to either write with a stylus, which I'm going to show you very soon, or you can tap on that, you can highlight, or you can use the uh, keyboard. So when you have that big letter T on that second button on the button banner, you can press and hold anywhere on your document and you'll have another entry window. So you can, I, can use, um, I can use my keyboard here, hello world and write any kind of notes that I'd like to follow along. I use this a lot uh, when I go for training. For example, the last time I used it, I was into a uh, coaching uh, um, course for hockey. And I used, uh, I used this application to take my notes. So, and, and then once you're done, you can just uh, tap on that paper airplane on the top uh, right corner and you'll have it saved already in your gallery. So this is how you use the um, Bluetooth keyboard. Since we have a nice note here that we've created, I'm gonna show you how to use the stylus now. Very simple, everybody knows how to use a stylus, but the stylus that comes with the Mat Connect is a very ordinary uh, stylus uh, with a rubber end to it. Uh, and here in my note, what I'm gonna do- Hey I Eric, you, yes. hey, Eric. Before, before we go any further, Let's let's take a break. We got a couple of questions. Okay. We got we have a poll question for for the group. So here's a question for perfect. Betsy Ann is doing that. So I'm going to launch the poll question, everybody. All right. So the poll question is: True or false? Any Bluetooth keyboard will work with the Mac Connect. 
Uh, so we're looking again for at least 50% participation, right? Uh, so if you didn't mind uh, logging or responding to that, in the meantime, one of the questions that has come in is, what is the price of the keyboard and where can I get it from? So I can elaborate that Mac Connects now ship with this Bluetooth keyboard. So that's an exciting piece. But if you wanted to purchase one of these Bluetooth keyboards, Eric, can you tell the group a little bit about that? Yes, you can go on the humanware.com website. Uh, you'll have all the information there. It's listed on the website. And if my memory serves, Sam, you can correct me, but I think it's 149 or 129. 129, uh, Eric. 129. Thank you. All right, Betsy, are we ready to end the poll, poll question? We can, we've had about 67% vote. Right. And Jim, can you share those results with us? I sure can. All right, so we've got uh, we've got 81% uh, of the audience weighing in that that question, any Bluetooth keyboard or most any Bluetooth keyboard will work with the Mac Connect. They're saying true. Eric, can you clarify, is that true? That is true. Any Bluetooth keyboard will work. You won't have full the full feature set that I've just showed you, but uh, any keyboard will work to take notes. For example, the hello world that I just wrote there will work, uh, but you won't maybe get the magnifier to start on F6 or the settings to start on F5, but uh, the main purpose of the keyboard will work. All right, so moving on to um, the stylus. I have a question there in the chat, which I find very interesting. Um, is there a sheet for the hotkeys? Yes, there is. And I'll share it with APH so that we can include it in on the uh, APH website. And that could be something very good. And then we'll send, we'll, you'll have access to that uh, through their website. Wonderful. We can include that on our handouts page. And we'll make sure to send that to all of our uh, attendees for this webinar. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so now the stylus. So the stylus, like I was talking about, it comes with the, the Mac Connect also. But here, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write a note on my blank page. So I'm gonna, just gonna switch here to my touch screen so you can see what I'm doing with my stylus because that's where we're gonna use the stylus. There we go. I got that poll question in front of my camera. All right, good. So my stylus, I can use it to do basically everything that I can do with a, my hand or my finger. So for example, if I tap on that little bubble here at the bottom of the screen, I'll get my, my menu back, my button menu, my button banner back. And if I go on my big T button, which is a second button from the left, tap on that, come to my pencil, it's going to be a pencil. Now I can use my stylus or my finger, but in this case, I'm going to use my stylus. I can use it to write. So let's write Again, I don't want to, hello world. So this is my note, but using a stylus and using this kind of annotation is awesome because the Mat Connect can become your paperless CCTV. So imagine, I'm guessing you're the majority are, are teachers. So imagine that you send out a PDF to your children, to your children, to your, to your students, that student can import that PDF, have it in their gallery, and then you can annotate or you can do that exercise. Uh, that, that student will be able to do the exercise and then send it back to you. So I'm just gonna take a little example here. If I go into my, again, my magnifier, and I will take a math exam. Here, I'm gonna place here a math exam. I don't have a, a PDF right now. Uh, with me, but I'm just going to take this math exam that I have. I'm going to zoom out, take a full page capture of that, and I use my keyboard right there. So when you do math with the Mat Connect, I'm going to show you what to do. Uh, the um, when it, the character recognition is not that good on defining math. So what you want to do is you want to disable that uh, the um, the optical character recognition the, the 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 detection that they that that happened on that page beautiful i'm 
Let's do this again. Even the Jedi has uh, sometimes uh, a little difficulty on. We, we know we know the Force is strong. <laughs> All right, good. So I got something here. Perfect. So as you can see, the OCR went through it. It's not that good. So what you want to do is have a finger or no, I'm going to use my stylus. And I'm just going to go from on my right hand side of the screen. I'm just going to go from top to bottom. And it's going to change it to negative or it's going to change it to positive. I want color. So it's going to take out that the um, the font, the computer font that it replaced everything with to having it the original document. So what you want to do here, I can save it. It's going to save it into my gallery and it's going to change it to a pen. So I can type on the pen there and then I'm going to, I will zoom in. I'm going to use my keyboard here, my plus here. And let me, yeah. and I'm going to answer this easy one here. Two plus three is equal to five. And then I'm going to do another one here, six. And as soon as I, I'm using my stylus here, and as soon as I press the back button here, it's going to be saved automatically into my gallery. So if I hit the home button on my keyboard, I will go back to my Prodigy main menu, use my stylus to navigate, go into my gallery, and there's my homework. And I can use the stylus again to share with my teacher, press and hold on the document, and then you can share it as a PDF. And then I can send it over through Gmail, through uh, uh, Dropbox, through a Google Drive if I want to. And you got different options here. But basically, this is how you use a combination of accessories, the stylus, and the keyboard that I've just used. And also use, I am using right now a big screen uh, connected to my Mat Connect. Good. So going forward with the accessories, I'm going to show you the external battery pack. Now, the importance of this is really- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, gonna put, put the brakes on there. Betsy Ann, are we ready for another question? We do. We've got a, a poll question related to the use of the stylus. Uh, so Jim, if you don't mind reading the responses. I would be happy to do that. So uh, Eric, listen closely. Audience, uh, listen closely or follow along. And again, if you want, you can put your responses into the chat. Uh, 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 select the tasks that a student can accomplish with the stylus. Can they select a menu item? Uh, can they click a button or a control? Can they use the stylus to dictate a response to a question? Can they use the stylus to reboot the tablet? Can they use the stylus to write an answer? All right, so uh, while you guys are looking at that, and again, we're looking for about 50% of you to, to weigh in. So again, we want you to check all that apply. There were some questions that were coming in. I'm going to try to kind of come back up and see if I can grab some of those. I don't know, Sam, uh, Jeff, Betsy, Ann, or Eric, if you're looking in. Uh, there was a question here that said, he used the stylist and dragged down on the right side. The same would happen with a finger, correct? The answer to that question is correct. That, right? is, that is correct, yes. Okay, cool, all right. Um, so there's something in here, is that something to do if the OCR does not work well? I think they're referring to what you did in ter terms of recapturing, right? Eric? Abs absolutely, yeah. if, if, you, if you don't like the OCR result, you can use the original uh, image and you can use that gesture that I just showed you to see the original, the original image. All right, and I'm seeing from the audience that the uh, that uh, the uh, poll writer, which is me, did not enter this incorrectly, and that you guys were only able to put in one one answer, not multiple choice. So, forgive me for that one. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll end the polling now. Um, I will, I'll go ahead and share the results, although uh, my apologies on this. So, so Eric, um, can someone select the menu item with the stylist? Absolutely. Can they click a button or a control um, on the on the tablet itself with the stylus? Absolutely. Can they dictate a response to a question with the stylus? Well, if I if I remember, dictate means using voice. Correct. Right. Yep. And they cannot. All right. Can they reboot the tablet with the stylus? Well, you know what? I'm going to say half 
Yes, <laughs> because I can use my stylus press my physical button with my stylus and then tap on the screen to reboot my tablet. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. And then the last one, can they write an answer with the stylus? Absolutely. And we just did an example. Right. Three plus three plus two equals six. Right. And I, I need somebody in the audience to forgive me for that off on my part for, uh, for the question. So apologies, everyone out there. So Betsy and I think we're done. Um, Great. Good. Moving on. Thank you for that interruption there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we got to slow you down sometimes. We're, we're good at interrupting here. I, I, sometimes I get passionate on these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the, the external battery uh, pack, it, it could look something like this. It could look like another model, but it's, they're all the same. Uh, they all have uh, two. Let me, let me just get, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see this, but they all have two ports on the um, on the external battery pack. You have a big USB or normal size USB. We call this USB A, and then right beside it, on the other end of the uh, of the of the um, battery, you have a um, a mini USB uh, there, uh, right beside there. So they they function differently. So the the USB A will be used with a combination of the uh, cable here, USB cable, to charge uh, or to use, sorry, to use the, um, the battery. And then the other small little port will be used for the other end of the uh, cable to charge your battery uh, pack, okay? Once your battery pack is charged, you can use this battery pack to extend the life of the battery for the distance camera. And I'm going to show you my setup. I don't, and, and you can do the same if you want. I just find that it works well. Um, what I've did, what I've done, I'm going to show you here my Mac Connect. I'm going to take those poll questions out of my view so I can see where I am. What I've done is I've put a little Velcro right here on, on the leg of the uh, Mac Connect. So I got the kind of like the rugged part of it on here. And then the other part, the soft one, in the back of my battery pack. So once my battery pack is charged, what I do is I just come here and Velcro it on that leg. And then I have my cable that's attached to my battery uh, pack. And then I just go up to my, I, I don't want to, I don't want to show you my, my ceiling that's not done in my basement here, but I'm going to bring down my camera here, but I just go up the, uh, up the little gooseneck, and there's my uh, there's a little door to charge the bat the, to charge the distance camera. Just open that, and then you can just put that cable inside that uh, that port and connect it to that port. And that's how easy it is to use the ex extended or the external battery pack uh, to extend the life of the distance camera. Distance camera uh, inside the distance camera, there is a small little battery which uh, I can show you here. And it doesn't really last long. You can expect an hour or so of use, but basically it's in here and it's a small battery and it doesn't really last that long. If you're using it uh, all day, uh, you won't be able to, but with that extended battery uh, pack, you'll be able to um, use it all day. Your student will be able to use it all day. And for those of you who are beginners, because I saw that we have a lot of beginners uh, on the Mat Connect, you can connect on the right hand side or the left hand side of the stand either way works i've got it here on my right hand side and on the on the distance camera there's a little button a power button which is lit up just press on that and you'll be able to use in prodigy start the application distance uh, i'm going to turn it here to my big screen so that you have that nice big view and I'm gonna scroll here, my menu, and I'll have a distance application right here. I tap on it. Usually this is all set for you uh, in production. It's already paired to the Mat Connect, so you shouldn't have any problems uh, uh, using it or starting it. But here I have a little example of a blackboard, again with math. I'm an engineer by trade, so that I love math. So that's why I, I, <laughs> I have math everywhere and my son wrote boo on it and he wants everybody to be scared. So there you go. This is working from home. <laughs> so 
this is how you would uh, start the uh, the distance camera. Use it with an external battery pack. You can use the screen to press and hold the plus button so that you can zoom in very nicely, very smoothly, and adjust it with your hand. And again, this is a Wi-Fi camera. If you want, you can bring that in the front of the class, anywhere in the class. Uh, you don't have to use it on the stand, but you can bring it anywhere else in the, in the class and you can control it through the Mat Connect. Okay. And to tend to somebody, I think the wall to charge it. There was a question here for charging, how to charge the external battery pack. Any kind of, uh, of, of charger will work. I use this one here, which is my a Sony charger. Uh, but basically, if the, it's a it's a five volt uh, charger, so it's any kind of uh, cell phone or any kind of the electronic devices that uses a USB. Yeah, it can be used with that, but it it should come with uh, with the uh, a cable and a charger with the battery pack. So there you go. That's another accessory. I don't know if we have a question on that accessory there, Jim. Before you jump in. We do have a question. I'll post it right now and Jim can share that whole question. All right, so Eric, listen up. True or false, the battery pack can charge and power the distance camera at the same time. Is that true uh, or false? Uh, so we'll drop that out again. We're looking for 50% 50, 50 of you guys to, to weigh in on that. And I don't know. I don't think there are any other questions that we've missed at this point in time. It's a Kodiak lens or Kodak lens that you're using yes. for the distance camera. Uh, can older models of the Mac Connect utilize these features, the Bluetooth, the stylus, the battery pack as well? Uh, the answer to that question is yes, correct, Eric? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. So again, if you've got any questions, you can drop that, that in there and um, uh, I believe we are at 55% of folks weighing in, correct, Betsy Ann? Uh, yes, that's correct. So All let's right. go ahead and in the polling and share the results. All right, so I'll share the results with everybody. So, so Eric, true or false, the battery pack can charge and power the distance camera at the same time. 81% uh, of our audience is saying it can. Not at the same time. Uh, when you're going to be uh, using the camera, it will... It will not charge the battery. It will use the battery, but once the camera is uh, is, uh, is shut down, then it's going to charge the battery, the internal battery of that camera. All right. So not not at the same time, but it can be used to charge the battery afterwards. Yes. All right. Good. Before we move forward, there's one other question that we'll take in here, and that is charging. Do you charge the Mat Connect and the camera both separately? They are separately. You can, you charge the distance camera and separately from the uh, Mat Connect because they, the the um, if if the reason why is the um, camera charges with that USB cable that I showed you, and uh, the Mat Connect will charge with a specialized uh, power supply, uh, which I showed you the port, which is right below the USB C uh, port on the side of the tablet. So they both charge separately. So before jumping to the other accessory that we just added uh, to the Mad Connect package, I want to talk to you about another accessory that I wasn't planning to talk about, but I decided to do so because I had one. Is the this is this comes in the box? It's a screen protector. It's a matte screen protector. So it, it I have one right now on my Mad Connect, but it turns your uh, the screen into a matte finish. Uh, it can be, um, I'm going to say, it's, it's, it, it's a bit complicated to install, but once it's installed, it works pr uh, perfectly. It, it has a nice finish to it. Uh, the feeling on your finger is nice, and also the reflectiveness is a bit less. Um, but um, this is kind of, it, it's like a, a, a membrane that you put on top of the, of the touch screen. So if take a look at mine here, I have one that I've made myself because I didn't have one uh, specifically made for uh, for my Mad Connect. But you can see here the man brain. It's a, like a little piece of plastic that you that you that you put on top of the screen. Okay, and that little membrane. Sometimes when you put it on the screen, you'll have uh, some bubbles that appears when you're you're installing 
the, 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 the membrane. So the trick here is that you can just pull it off a bit and then replace it. And you have to, that screen has to be perfectly clean so that it doesn't have any bubbles. So I just wanted to talk to you a bit about the uh, membrane, the, the matte membrane, because it does cut off a lot of the reflectiveness uh, of the screen. The last accessory that I want to talk about is I'm going to act as a student right now. I'm going to shut down my, my distance camera. I will take it out. And I'm done using, and we're going into a, onto a field trip going to the zoo with the class and I want to be able to see all the names and all the, the different animals at the zoo but we're going on uh, on that road trip and I'm going to disconnect it from my stand so I'm going to only bring with me my tablet and I'm going to leave the stand here in class for when I'm going to be back so I just want to bring my my tablet this this is a wonderful accessory it you can, it, it's just for the tablet. It's a leather casing and you can put the tablet inside it. And then you can go into your field trip and protect and have that, that tablet protected so that it doesn't break if I, if I drop it or it doesn't scratch if, if, if ever. So it just fits in very nicely in there. And there's a protective cover that you can close. There's a little strap here to hold everything together. And there's even a place to put my stylus right on the side here if I want to bring my stylus with me. So this is a very nice accessory. Also, how you can use it either, like I said, bring it along and use it in the case just as so. But also, there's a little clip, orange clip on the back here that you can put the cover on the other side. And it acts like a stand, a bit like a stand, so that you can, because as you know, or some of you know, there is a books application on the Mat Connect. And you can maybe download some books and you want to read it to, not on your stand, but you want to read it somewhere else. And you can use this as a stand, or you can even, if you have a, a Netflix uh, account, uh, you can have that. and. Uh, you can use your Netflix on here and it's all held nicely and a comfortable and protected way uh, to use Netflix, to read a book, uh, to, to do other stuff. And you, again, you can use the stylus and um, that's the other accessory. I don't know what else to say, but it benefits the user just to protect that tablet. My son is using it uh, a lot with that protective case. He likes to listen to his, as you, as you notice, my YouTube channel. He uses my YouTube channel. He, he uses this kind of case to listen to his YouTubes and uh, on the table while eating a snack or something like that. So that it's very useful, useful for that. Going into field trips, you can bring it on, bring it along with you, so that it protects the tablet. You don't, you don't have to worry about it. There we go. That's all the accessories. I went through all the accessories that uh, is available in the box uh, of the Mat Connect. Great. Thank you, Eric. Looks like we have some more questions dropping into the chat. For example, uh, what would you want to do if you wanted to take the distance camera with you to the zoo? Unfortunately, we're going to have to use a little bag for that. Uh, we don't supply a little bag for that, but I would suggest a, a bag, a little carrying bag, to just to protect the camera. Uh, and you can bring it along. It connects very nicely. You don't need internet for it, but you, you can do that. But unfortunately, we don't have a, a bag supplied for that. Thank you. Uh, another question came in again about the distance camera. Is it better to let the distance camera completely drain a battery before recharging or can you charge it when it's say still 40% charged? You can, you can still charge it when it's still at 40%. The problem with batteries, it, it's the same thing for any devices that have batteries. It's the age of the battery that will affect the um, the, the usefulness of the battery. So it's gonna drain a lot quicker if the battery is older. Uh, it's not really, the, and, and it's gonna be the cycles also. It's not, I'm saying old because you have a lot of cycles of charging and discharging. Um, you can charge either way. Uh, I would prefer uh, to suggest that uh, at 45% use the extended, the external battery pack uh, at, with the battery at 50% or something like that, or 100%. It's better that way than instead of draining the whole battery down 
before connecting your external battery. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, so before we have our special guest visitor at the end of the video, uh, do you wanna, Eric, just quickly summarize what we've learned today about the accessories for Mac Connect? Absolutely. I'm gonna share my screen here because I have them all written out for you. Uh, I'm just gonna do this here. Where's my share? Okay. Uh, I forgot to share. All right. Oh, there, there it goes. So yeah, everybody sees uh, my slides here, like the pictures that we uh, left off with. Uh, but uh, my last slide was with the objective. So what did we learn today? So partic one, participant will list the steps to set up at least uh, one accessory of the Mad Connect. We saw several accessories. We saw the keyboard accessory. I showed you how to uh, Bluetooth uh, set up the keyboard uh, accessory. I showed you how to use a stylus, but there's no really setup to do to use a stylus. But I showed you also how to set up the external battery pack on the distance camera, how to charge it or how to use it. And I showed you also my my setup that I'm that I use on my Mac Connect or that little Velcro. Uh, what else did we do? I showed you how to um, put it in the uh, leather case how to connect the external camera. So we did a lot actually uh, on this objective. Participant uh, will identify at least one benefit of each of the following accessories. So the Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard, very easy to use. Those big, large letters on the, on the, uh, on the keyboard will help the user uh, to, to, to better be efficient uh, on, on their homework, on their assignments. Um, a lot easier to use than the virtual uh, keyboard. The stylus also can be a, a, good, a good accessory. And the benefit of that is that you can use it as a pen or a, a pencil to finish your homework, your assignments. Battery pack will extend the life of the distance camera. And the external uh, monitor, if you wanna have a bigger screen uh, to be able to have that bigger real estate, uh, that's a big. That's the biggest um, benefit to using using a, an external monitor. Participant will explain how to use at least two accessories of the Mad Connect. Well, I just I just did explain <laughs> all that. <laughs> yeah, I think you've been very thorough today. We're getting some really great feedback in the chat. People are very appreciative of what we've learned so far about the Mac Connect. So thank you, Eric, uh, for telling us all about the Mac Connect and the new accessories that are available. Um, let's turn it over now to Sam to show yep. us the uh, our special surprise for the end of our webinar. Just before Sam starts. Sam is going to show you like the same exact exact same thing that we can do on the Mac Connect we can do with the Reveal 16i that Sam is going to show you. Excellent. Thank you Betsy. Thank you Eric. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Great webinar by the way. It's very interactive and I did enjoy uh, seeing all these accessories that are very popular in Mac Connect so uh, so useful and also to make your students uh, efficient in their work. So my name is Sam Adler. I work for Humanware and today I'd like to present the Reveal 16i. So as you know, Humanware manufactures and designs cutting edge technology products and uh, for visually impaired. So we have a line of low vision devices. We also have a line of blindness products ranging from braille displays all the way up to embossers. So we have a lot of toys, but we're glad to partner up with uh, APH and the Mat Connect is a product that we, we are very proud of and we, we enjoy working with that. I'm visually impaired myself. So I must say that the Connect 12 is my favorite product. In a normal life, I travel a lot. So for me, that's the most portable solution so that I can do my work and I can magnify documents or whatever objects while I'm on the go. And I see them in classrooms they're very efficient. Now, sometimes students might say, the screen is a bit small for me, or others would say the posture is not perfect, right? Because it's very portable. So it had to be very small in size. And, um, but we love the features and all the bells and whistles that the Mat Connect has. So Humanware developed a few years ago, two products called the Reveal 16. 
So Reveal 16 is a CCTV, a transportable CCTV. The one I'm going to show you today is the Reveal 16i. So let me just change my monitor here, my camera, so that you can see this. So here's the Reveal 16i that is a transportable magnifier. At this time, it's folded down. I want to show you a few things before I open it up. Um, first of all, two great carrying handles here that you can carry the device around. So it does weigh 14 pounds. It's a bit heavier, so that's why we call it transportable. This one runs on a battery. The battery lasts a full day of operation, which is more than enough. So two great handles here. And before I deploy it, I want to show you the camera. So this has distance camera built in. And all you have to do is move the camera up, and it goes from completely right to left, 170 degrees up and down. So you don't have to change the position of the device to be able to magnify when you're doing distance viewing. And when you're done, just push it back down, you're back into desktop. And I'll show you that once I open this up. So here's how you open the Reveal 16i. You launch the first portion, and then you place the screen into the appropriate position. I really love this screen for many reasons. If you have a short student, it can go very low and gives you lots of room back there to do your tasks. Taller kids will like to bring it up. And when I'm cooking or doing manual tasks, I'll bring my screen flat. And when I'm standing above, I can see what I'm doing. There's 12 inches of space between the camera and the base platter. Base platter is huge. When you put your document down at the end, you see the bottom of the page. So that's very important. So great product. And let me turn it towards you so that you can see it here. here we go. So I'm going to turn this device on. You can see it's very simple. There's only a few buttons in the front, power buttons on the left side. The orange knob at the center is to zoom in and zoom out, 1 to 45x magnification, so more magnification than what you see on the Mat Connect. Um, we also have contrast key on the right side and two keys on the left side for locking the focus or toggling to the intelligence. So I push the power button, and I'm directly into the magnifier, and I can put my document under here. Very good optics. This is the perfect product for someone that needs very good image quality, crisp imagery. It's true optics, so it's not a digital camera. It's a true camera. So it gives you amazing colors and contrasts. The auto, the auto zoom is very quick. Colors are bright, very easy to use. And uh, it feels like a CCTV. The posture when you're using this device is very comfortable because the screen is closer to you and the document is in the backside. Excellent lighting back there, which is awesome. We also have the option of an XY table. So if someone really wants the XY table, it still is a portable transportable device, folds down the same way, but you would have that option also. So I can change my contrasts on the fly, selected the ones I prefer. Personally, I use white and black a lot. So I removed all the yellows and purples and magentas and all that but I do stick with the ones I prefer using. And if I wanted to see something at the distance, I just pull the camera up and zoom in, move my camera around. And when I'm done, pop it back down and I'm ready to see that document right away. So this is basically a CCTV, a portable CCTV. But the magic is now that you know how a Mat Connect works, if I press the inner left side key, you will feel right at home, right? Same carousel that Eric's been showing you and that you have on your Mat Connect. There are a few differences, but overall, if you know how to operate a Mat Connect, you'll feel at home here. So let me tap on magnifier, and I got a document down here. And I'm going to put this document upside down because you know what? That's what I do best. See the differences? We've got your place your page here, simplified button banner for someone that's maybe less technical. So we've got our back, our capture our multi-page capture, and the gallery right there on the front page. So I'm going to tap Capture, and it's going to take a picture of this. And at this point, the cool part, just like the Mat Connect, is I don't need the document anymore. It's going to process it, and then it's going to display it in full page, 1x view. And then once it's available, we have a touch screen. So that makes it very easy to use. So I can just pinch and zoom and see what's on the screen as I'm looking at it. Now, in this case here, it picked up my picture, so I'm going to recapture this. I played a trick on this device. Yeah. And it captures and turns around and does its thing. So the features of this is to have a larger screen device 
with the perfect you know, CCTV style that some are very comfortable with. And at the same time, adding intelligence, reading, speech, writing on the screen, going paperless, sharing with your teacher documents that you've captured, edited with the stylus or your finger, using a Bluetooth keyboard, all those features are available. One thing I really like about the Reveal 16i also is the volume. So when I tap and hold and it starts reading. The show, which is produced at the studios of Walk 1680 AM in Okoye, sir. So it's got very powerful speakers here at the front, audio jack on the side for more discreet reading in the classroom, USB port on the side also for additional storage. Hey, and hey, if, Sam, yes, Sam, sir. Just give me one second. 